There are many versions of steam egg, and this is one of my favorites. Slice just a little bit of onion. The idea is to get the sweetness of the onion flavor to mix well with the clam flavor. Non non-stick pan. Make sure that you don't use a stick pan. Make sure you don't use a non-stick pan, because if you use a non-stick pan, the shells of the clams would scratch the coating of the pan, and that's not very good for your pan. A little bit of oil goes into the pan. We want the spring onion whites. We're gonna slice them very, very thinly, so I can smell now that the oil is hot. Spring onions go in, immediately releasing that flavor. I've turned the heat down now so that the spring onions don't burn. Onions go in. Heat is on low to develop the sweetness. Fresh clams that have been soaking in some salt water. I only have a few because I want the clam water to come out of the clams. And to be a bit more cost effective, I have here some frozen clam meat that I'm gonna to add to it to give my steam eggs a little bit more clam meat inside, but yet not have a steam egg full of clam shells. So the clam shells are there, they open up, they release the water, that's flavor, but at the same time, you don't want your, you know, to have to negotiate through every single bite of clam shells to get to the egg. Cooking wine. Now you can add any cooking wine. You can add Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking rice wine, or sake. Heat still on low. I'm gonna put the cover on. And then turn the heat to medium, medium high. And as soon as the clam shells open, I'm gonna switch off the heat. I'm gonna cool down the broth. Then I'm gonna mix it with some egg. And then we're gonna steam it. We have now separated the soup or the broth from the clams. Let that drip a little bit. And then we're going to measure how much we have. One part eggs, three parts water or broth. Okay, so this broth is very concentrated. We're going to add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Where's my soy sauce? Add a little bit of soy sauce to the broth. I've topped up the liquid to about 300. 300 milliliters of liquid and 100 milliliters of egg, or 100 grams of egg. When we beat the eggs, we're just breaking up the eggs, but yet we're not incorporating air. We're not beating air into it. We don't want a souffle. The eggs have changed into one color. There's a little bit of bubbles. Don't worry about that. We're now gonna add the liquid in. We can pour it back into this vessel. And at this point, we're just gonna let it rest. And if you can rest it in the fridge for say 20, 30 minutes, the bubbles will rise to the surface and you can use a spoon just to take away the bubbles. It's not a problem at all. If you have something wider, it cooks easier and you have more surface area and you don't have to worry that the center is not cooked yet. In the steamer, hot water goes in. Then you can put this in, and then we pour the egg mixture in through the sieve so that we catch any excess shells that we have. Second thing is, attach to the egg whites. There's a kind of white protein membrane. And if we didn't whisk that away, it becomes a bit unhomogeneous, unsmooth, not so smooth so we can sift that away. And the third thing that we're sifting away are the bubbles. Get a spoon and just manipulate the bubbles. You can either pop them or you can just fish them out. I put the cover on and I start steaming. But when I start steaming, I steam on medium heat. And I watch this hole. I watch it. As soon as the steam starts coming up, and you can see it. We switch it down to low. So now I'm gonna watch it like a hawk. No, I'm not gonna just watch it like, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. So you watch it for me, I'll do some cleanup. Eggs are steamed. 
Switched off the flame, kept it in there for another five minutes more. Best test for you to do now is the wobble test. If you wobble it, the ripples are still there, but it doesn't move so that the raw egg goes onto the cooked egg, then you're good. But even if you use this, you have to have another plate next to it just to go right under, and then you won't have any problems if it slips away, which it kind of does a lot of the time. So just transfer it straight onto the plate. You can see that wobble is really good, right? And there it is. Rice wine clams in steamed eggs.